Johnny mother is here. We like to say what's up, guy. It's our way to say hi. In February, it is good to know a plow guy. It is shaped like a key. Also, where I like to ski. Tell by my belt buckle that I'm most definitely from. Hello YouTube. All right, so we're finally getting some better weather uh, down around my neck of the woods in southern New Hampshire here, and I'm able to dig down a good eight to ten inches. Uh, so I was able to get out last Sunday. I wanted to go. The weather didn't work for me. It was raining all day, so I opted to work in my new bathroom instead. Um, and then the itch got too damn itchy and I had to scratch it so I grabbed my metal detector at lunchtime and went out to a local park uh, it's a town rec field in town just up the street from my work well back out at the park again I'm gonna try and do some of this slope here uh, as you can see there's a big row of boulders and then the slope to the playing field there's no bleachers here ever so people um, sit all along this hill to watch the games but I'm still learning the gold bug pro so I wanna do a little coin shooting and jewelry hunting see what uh, what we come up with get back to you on the first one and it used to be this is the old stagecoach water crossing uh, that's been converted into soccer fields sorry about that I hit the button I don't know what this is. Oh. It's from Canada. 82. 82 Canadian. One of them 72 sided pennies. Cool. First coin out of here. I was hoping for something older. To the next. Uh. Sorry about that. Had a little uh, domestic interruption. The new government and have the Russians and the Europeans. So, so anyway, I don't know where I was, but um, at the same park, got a couple of lunchtime digs in. I'll incorporate them both into one video. The second one I did, actually, the, the yeah, the second one I did, which was today. Um, I didn't get much live digs or revealing footage or whatever because the wind was just horrible. It was like 45, 48 degrees outside so it was nice and the sun was shining but the wind was just horrible and I can't stand windy videos when people are digging friggin zinc pennies and clad dimes and crap like that. I'll tolerate it if they're digging like a Morgan dollar or a gold coin or a hammered coin or this is not the case. I didn't get anything good like that. Um, so let me show you what I got off each hunt and uh, we'll be done with this one. And hopefully I'll be able to get out this weekend. Um, I have been watching as many videos as I can. I'm losing a lot. And at the bottom, the, the load more button at the bottom of the list on your subscriber pull down menu, the load button is there, but for whatever reason, it don't work. Maybe they need a new button. I don't know. I can probably fix it with a switch. I've got a switch down in there, so if they want it, I can help them fix it. I can solder it right in line, and it'll work for everybody. It, that's how it works, right? So, let me show you what all I found, and hopefully we'll get out this weekend. Alright. So, here's what I got. I got this, uh, my second one, Nitro Club 12 gauge. I found one of these last time too. It's a Remington number 12. And across the bottom it says Nitro Club. Not sure what Nitro means, but I'm now a member of the Nitro Club. No side to it. Uh, this hole, probably six inches deep, giving me a 
66 to 70. I didn't really clean it too much. You can't really see it that good. Um, I always find these, just the top of this. This is an old, old school uh, beer can or soda can. This is what the beaver tail came off of. Um, matter of fact, I've got a ring pull here. This would have sat like that and the beaver tail would have been there. For you young kids who don't know. And you would go and peel the thing off. So this is the part that reminds you not to litter. You know what I like about this find the most? Is the fact that they were nice enough to take the rest of the can with them. I got that. I don't know what that says. Something blah 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 blah. Okay. And then I got an 06 penny. I don't know if you can see it down there by the coil. So mid to high 70s is a zinc penny. Show you what the VDI comes up as. I gotta do this quick, my battery's dying. A 07 clad dime. Alright, sorry if you're getting a little wind here, guys. Solid 83 on the VDI of the Gold Bug Pro. Clad dime on the VDI. A key! A key! A key! A key! It says doors. I just dug a key. Woohoo! Hey Bob, is this how you do it? Looks like a, uh, a schleg. Right there. About half an inch down. Some fence parts and wires and crap and 22 shells, a couple of ring pulls. And then I did a, a one hour, just exactly one hour hunt uh, on my lunch break. Instead of eating lunch, this is how I'm going to lose weight. Instead of eating lunch, I found these. Um, we've got a uh, an 0198, well actually 298s, an 88. Uh, who the hell knows what it is? It's zinc though, so it doesn't really matter. And that's an 82. We got two coppers, a 62 and a 79. One nickel, an 86. That's the year. Uh, two clad dimes, a 94 and a 93. This old buckle, it's off a web, right there. I don't think it's that old, but you never know where the fill comes from that they that they laid in here. And uh, a nice bottle cap, one of them with the little metal tabs on it. This is another bottle cap. Um, this piece of aluminum, 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 cream cheese, a couple of beautiful pull tabs, beautiful. That is a split shot. I thought it was a bullet head at first, but, oops, it's heavy, it's lead, but it's a, it's a split shot. So either somebody had that in their pocket and it fell out, or it came with the fill when they made the soccer fields, and that was dug up, you know, somewhere near a, a pond or something like that. And that's all she wrote. Well, that's it. End of story. Um, nothing yet. Of course, all of this, everything you can see that's that's all flattened out. There's about four inches of topsoil, six inches of topsoil, and then uh, it's all gravel underneath. You know, so it's really tough digging in gravel, as we all know. So that's all there is. Um, and let's do this real quick before my battery completely goes flat. Um, a lot of the VDI signals that you saw me do is strictly because there's not a whole lot of information on the Goldbug Pro that I bought. Um, partly because there's not a lot of guys using it. Um, I know that SC Digger, <coughs> excuse me, SC Digger had one for a long time that uh, you know he swore by and he loved his machine. That was part of the reason I got the Goldbug Pro. Um, the other part was because Russ gave me a really good deal, RB Detectors out in uh, Nevada. 
give me a really good deal. But the, um, the VDI information that I'm putting on my videos for this Gold Bug Pro is to educate um, a lot of other people. But the VDI numbers on these machines I've done in my videos and I'm going to continue to do uh, upon request by a new subscriber that I have who's been watching my videos and anticipating my information on this machine because he lives in the Philippines and he's had an American friend of his uh, purchase a Gold Bug Pro on his behalf. Uh, once he receives it, he's going to learn it and he's going to start uh, making little videos like we all do. And I told him when he does, let me know. I'll pimp his channel on my channel in my videos so that we can all subscribe to him and because I can't think of anybody that we have by we I mean our little community of metal detectorists that is out of the Philippines so it'll be interesting to see what the Philippines has in store for us so uh, look out for his channel and I'll, I'll promote it when he gets it up and going but that's my finds my battery's flat my cigar's almost done and my beer has to be drank so on that I say to you, swing, beep, dig, get some. Arr, 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 arr.